Take two. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Dude's Garage Video Arcade and Bloody Knuckle Emporium. I'm Dude. This is my garage and Bloody Knuckle Emporium and Video Arcade. Right now, the only video arcade we have is this one. That's probably all I'm going to want to have. Uh, they take up a lot of space, man. But here's the Congorilla video game. Subject of many videos here. And I uh, just wanted to go through uh, primarily the uh, dip switch configuration for this video game. So let's look at the dip switch here in this amazing, uh, amazing configuration and uh, power schematic manual that was in this thing. It was sitting down on the bottom of it, and I'll see if I can remember to show you that. But here are the dip switches, which I flipped. And I configured this, and it says here to get six gorillas. Well, that's not quite right, because if you look at this, it says jump men. And I'm not going to restore this, because I like the patina on it. This is beautiful. I, you know, just imagine all the hands that's been on this thing. So... So here's the schematics, and to the only ones that I messed with was Jumpman. It was set to off off. So I took those configurations and I set it to on on. And uh, for God's sakes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't go in there flipping those dip switches if you don't need to. So I'm actually going to show you what you want to use is one of these little uh, jeweler screwdrivers and use that to flip these things up and down. Now, let's take a look around back and unfortunately this video camera will not focus in, or wasn't focusing in on these dip switches. So here's here's the back. That's where I found that, that owner's manual. You can tell where it was sitting. That's where it was originally affixed when this thing was built. You can tell it was just stapled to the side and I see those staples. Now here is I found while well, sneaking around inside here, being careful not to hit any uh, high voltage or high average transformers here or capacitors, uh, it says 1446 Kong. So I would assume that this is the, the 1446 console that was created or, or put together. This is the power supply. It's a 5 volt slash 12 volt power supply. Got some capacitors here. This runs up into, wow, well, look at these, these are amazing. This is all original stuff, man. But as you, as you can see, this, this is all original. I haven't done any, anything to any of this. But it took me a while to, to, to figure out where the dip switches were on this main board, which is, by the way, sandwiched. You can see it's two layered. It says it's got to be right up front where you can hit them. You shouldn't have to take this thing away, take this thing apart to get to the dip switches. And here they are. Now this is upside down. If I can get some light on this thing. They are upside down. Hopefully you're going to be able to make out the thing. Hopefully, hopefully this thing will focus right. I can't get it to focus in on this. But here is your dip switches for, for this video game. Now this is upside down. Dip switch one is on your right, running to eight on your left. Okay, so I switch those to on on. On is down, off is up since it's upside down. So that's configured to give six jump men and a free jump man at ten thousand. I didn't lower it to seven thousand. It's not necessary. And again, I'm not going to flip those dip switches at all if I don't have to. So here's a nickel tour of the back of this thing. Uh, you can see the fuses that we'll see in the uh, the original fuses that we'll see in the schematics. I'm going to flip through it page by page. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to hopefully be able to flip this right side up because I need to read this because I'm having some horizontal hold problems and what and hopefully I can kind of get this thing so I can read it because I think if I look in here 
There's one dial there that does a small better. So there you go. So there's one. See if I can get a shot of them dip switches. Well, after this. Now here are some more. And I'm pretty sure that those two screws in that dial there are all uh, focus in and out, left and right roll, up and down. I'm certain of it. So I, I didn't touch that. Or maybe it was up top that I did. Okay. There you go. It's the top original light came with the thing. I'm sure it's the original lamp even. It's still going. Um, so here, that's the nickel tour of the back of this thing. Let's go around front. The coin mechanisms and the inside of this thing. That's the, that's the coin counter. Artificially inflated. I put a hundred quarters in this thing once to see how high it would count. It counts to 90, but it remembers how many quarters it was in there. Because when I played one, it stayed at 90. So it's just a couple wires sitting, it's lying down there. Here's a coin mix, which I cleaned up and works. they work beautifully. They work beautifully. Those are the lamps from the other video. I put those in. Those are very, very easy. I took an ohm meter and I put it on the contacts back in here for, for uh, to, they're not an ohm meter, but a voltmeter. And those come through about three or four volts. And that's how I determined that those are five volt bulbs or six volt bulbs, excuse me. So that's what I put in and they work fine. They are LED wedge bulbs. Check out my other video for that one. And yeah, it's beautiful. So let's let's take a look at this instruction manual. Instruction manual. Here is the layout. This I, I can't believe I have this thing. This is incredible. So let's take a look. If you need it, here is the schematics for this. I'm not going to scan these things because this thing hasn't even been creased. So I'm going to try to keep it uncreased just because I'm OCD about that kind of stuff. So here is your schematics if you need them. Original. Those are the wire leads off of that main board we were looking at before. It's power supply connections. I hope this gives somebody some value because this, this video game is a, is a counterfeit. It's a knockoff. Here's your dip switch settings. Now it says, uh, like I said before, two gorillas, two jumpmen. Okay. Moving right along, trying to keep this away from that water I have over there. That's a moose, by the way. Edge connector harness. Cocktail table is when this thing's configured into a table. So you can play Congorilla while you're enjoying your cocktails. Right? And what that does is when you're sitting at a, at a console table, what players sit on either side, so when it turns to the next player, player two, the whole screen's got to flip over. So that's why that is put together like that. And it, there's also the dip switches for that right there. So if you have one of those things and it's kind of beat up, maybe you want to put it in a table. That would be neat. Take, I don't know if it would take up less space, but it wouldn't be nearly as tall. And here is universal power supply outline drawing here. Those are those fuses we were looking at before. And where they go on the next page. So hopefully this original documentation is going to help anybody who's restoring a video game, a console video game from late 1970s. So, all right. So I think that's everything I wanted to go over. 
Just want to see these coin mechs work up close and personal. Put these new cog locks on. Now those are easy to pick. There is videos on how to pick key locks, um, padlocks. I used that, that technique to get these things open because I didn't have any keys for the original ones. And it worked beautifully, beautifully. So that's just easy to take these things apart. Just undo that screw, take these pieces off, undo this nut, nut this thing out, do a little nut job. <laughs> Original coin catch. I find like five and a half bucks in the back of this thing when I open it up after I pick that lock. So. Yeah, let's, let's see how this thing goes through here. Beautifully. I cleaned all that up. I used electrical cleaner on it. Um, just sprayed it down like crazy. Now, I did put some 3-in-1 oil on it, but it was a little bit thick. It wouldn't let the coins go through. Now, I did figure out that the coins going through this thing actually gets dirt and gunk from the coins on it through this thing so they have to be clean from time to time and uh, to keep them running nice and smoothly but as you can see they, they run through great fantastically I love it so these things are beautiful if you want to give yourself a free game just hit this little guy this little trigger here that'll give you a free game it's very very delicate so but that'll that'll get you going there on a free game but uh yeah so there you go have fun enjoy yourself if you restore one of these things is just should be enjoying yourself with it so have a good time with it good luck getting your vid console video game back together and i bid you aloha